You know, the first thing I think I ever thought when I booted up the Angry Birds app on my phone was just, I want to see more. That was my first thought, I want to see more. The first thing I ever thought about was just how deep this world was, how much lore the creators had put into this game. You know, the philosophical questions. You know, I didn't see birds. I saw Aristotle and Plato. I saw the Greek epics. I saw Homer riding the Iliad through exploding birds and dying pigs. So, needless to say, today, September 23rd, the year of our Lord, 2015, when the Angry Birds movie official teaser trailer was unleashed onto the masses, the unwashed masses, like some sort of a biblical plague, rained down upon us from the heavens above, I wept. I wept into my hands, and I ran outside. I tore off my clothing, and I began to weep as I lay there on the ground, prostrate before our Lord. I began to weep and just thank him, because truly, there has never been anything greater in this world than what we have just witnessed today. With the release of the Angry Birds movie official teaser trailer, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Gaming Medley here, and we are going to talk about this shit because what the fuck? Here's the thing. I can get a Mortal Kombat movie because you know lore. I can get a World of Warcraft movie because you know lots of lore. Really fucked up lore. They've, they've fucked World of Warcraft so much, but regardless, it has lots of lore, so I can see a movie about World of Warcraft. I'm able to see why they would create movies of all of those things, but fucking Angry Birds? We're talking a franchise that has spanned other franchises in one of the most despicable yet addicting mobile games ever. This thing was Star Wars Angry Bird, it was probably other franchise Angry Birds. It was Angry Birds Angry Birds, which everyone loved to hate and hated to love. And now it's a fucking feature length film. Part of me wished that this was a joke, but then I realized that it wasn't the first of April and I had to resign myself to the fact that this is actually real and it's coming out in May 2016. And what's even worse is it has a really good cast. It's got Jason Sudeikis, it's got Josh Gad, Olaf, by the way, from Frozen, if you didn't know. It's got Danny McBride, it's got Maya Rudolph, it's got Kate McKinnon, it's got Tony Hale, it's got Keegan-Michael Key, it's got Bill Hader, and it's got Peter Dinklage, and what the fuck? What kind of contract did these guys have to sign for them to agree to be in this movie coming out? Now, I hope that they signed on to this movie like five years ago, because then it would have made sense. You know, back when people actually were aware that Angry Birds existed, back when people were aware Angry Birds was a thing, back when Angry Birds, the brand, had market significance, not now when it has none of those things. Like, why is it being released now? Why? Angry Birds has not done jack shit in like the past three years. It doesn't, ugh, it just hurts my head. There's nothing to explore. What lore are you gonna learn? We see Bill Hader and Peter Dinklage are like dumb pig one and dumb pig two, twiddle and twiddle dumb, and they walk out of some sort of ship as pigs and they fuck it up and they're being goofy and whatever. And I guess that will eventually lead us to the point of war between the birds and the pigs where they kill each other? How are they gonna make that cute? This whole movie is like trying to be cute. You've got Jason Sudeikis playing like socially awkward bird. You've got Danny McBride playing a bird. He's playing the bomb bird and he literally just farts on things and they blow up because that's the kind of humor that we're interested in, I guess. It's like cute and it's bad Pixar, really bad Pixar, and it's so happy and yay. How are they going to incorporate the fact that these birds commit suicide by throwing themselves at these pigs in order to crush the pigs under giant objects? 
into a family movie. How are they going to make that fun? What lore is there to explore? Did any of us want to know why the birds were killing the pigs? People might have wondered, but nobody wanted to know. It wasn't something people cared about. It wasn't the first thing you thought of. I mean, it might have been the first thing a few PETA activists thought of, but most people didn't question the fact that they were blowing up structures with birds that would crush pigs. Because it doesn't fucking matter, it's a mobile game. What? Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Why? Why do they try to make video game movies a thing that are just going to be bad? You know, part of me wants to say I'm hopefully optimistic just because the cast is pretty much just like SNL. And if anything can save anything, it's probably Bill Hader and Jason Sudeikis. But, I mean, I don't, I don't even think that there is half a chance that they'll be able to make this thing good. No amount of dumb fart jokes and socially awkward chicken birds are going to make me enjoy this movie. Why is this coming out? Why is this a thing? It is a thing. Though it is. And if for some reason you watch the trailer and you think it's absolutely hilarious, I'm sure you'll have a great time there. Because it's got some great talent behind it for some reason. For some reason. For whatever reason. For absolutely no reason. You know what? Fuck it. I'm linking it in the description below. Go watch that shit. Laugh your asses off or don't because I think I cracked a smile like once. But if this is your shit, now you know about it, and now you're gonna watch it, and you'll either be horribly disappointed or you'll be psyched out of your mind like a frat bro on Thanksgiving whose parents bought him kegs. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you, Angry Birds. Rewind time and put your movie out like three years sooner, when I would have been like young and cared. Fuck it. Fuck it!